Oh, hey friends. I have a haul for you. So I haven't really been shopping like, you know, at the stores, but I did make some online purchases and I wanted to share them with you. So what I really, really wanted to do was go on to Makeup Geek's website and order like a shit ton of eyeshadows and a Z palette and kind of like get that whole thing started. I know, I am late on the train for that one and I'm totally kicking myself in the ass for it because literally half her freaking website is sold out. So that sucks, but I did get some stuff and I'm gonna show it to you. Some of the stuff I've used, some of it I haven't. Um, yeah, so a lot of going on into that. So the first thing from Makeup Geek is this pigment in Vegas Lights. And I don't know if you guys have ever, like if any of you own Makeup Geek stuff, but seriously, it really is like the bomb. The com. The bomb. The comb. Um, it really is like what everybody is saying that it is basically so this is vegas lights just the cap uh the one thing i don't like about this is there's no freaking sifter um look at that though Whoa! that is like my favorite color of life i have it on my eyelid right now I freaking love this color. This is like the perfect pigment for you blue eyed girls because it's gonna make your eyes pop. Like, oh, I love it. And this is probably gonna last me for four years because there is a ton in there. But like I said, her pigments don't have the sifters yet. I think you can like buy them separately, but I don't want to do all that. That kind of sucks, but whatevs. It was cheap. It was only seven bucks for this pigment, and MAC pigments, I think, are, I want to say $22 or $24, something like that. So freaking pretty. The next uh, pigment that I got was Utopia. This was like the freaking New Year's Eve eye look of the century on YouTube last New Year's Eve. Like every tutorial you saw was using this pigment. I'm like, all right, let me see. I got to get my hands on this and see what all the rage is about. And it is Gorgina. Like I can't even, ugh. I don't want to spill it, but look, it just looks like some kind of like what are those things called? Those rocks with the diamonds inside of it? That's what it looks like. Freaking Gorgina. But it's getting all over the freaking place. So this is a Utopia. And I'll probably do close-ups because I got my editing software back. Yeah. Um, so Vegas Lights Utopia. Utopia is like one of those colors that... Depending on what you put it with, it looks like a different color. So, like, the other day, I wore it with, like, a green smoky eye, and it looked green. Um, but you can wear it with, like, purple, and, like, some purple comes out. I don't know. It's weird. Like, it's just one of those colors that, like, you can put with any color, and whatever color you put with will, like, turn it into a different color, if that makes sense. Probably not. The next two thing I got from Makeup Geek are brushes. The first one I got is the Soft Dome brush. It's kind of like a smaller version of like the Sigma E40, but better. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the E40. I don't, I don't know. I don't like how stiff it is down here, but then how fluffy it is up there because the bristles like bend and I don't know I just I really don't like it like I prefer my Sephora crease brush over that one just because like it's fluffy everywhere like not just at the top of it um but the reason why I got this is because I have smaller eyes so I can like really get like right into my crease like you can see I used it like right there with a darker color and it's like perfect it fits right in there those of you who have smaller eyes and like are you know raging on the freaking uh sigma brushes get this one i think it was like seven dollars it's amazingly soft like i freaking love it the next one i got 
was the pointed crease brush. I wanted to get the pencil brush too, but of course it was sold out. Um, so I got the pointed crease brush and I am so freaking glad that I did. Like, I know that this is like recommended for your crease or whatever, but I use it for like outer corner stuff. And it's also really, really good for like blowing out your lower lash line because it's got that point to it. So it'll like blend the color, but it's so soft that, oh, let me do some over here too. <laughs> it's so soft that it like blends it. Let me start that over. The point gets the color in there, but it's so soft and flexible that it blows it out too. It's a really, really good blush brush for the lower lash line. I cannot freaking talk today. What the hell is my problem? Get with it, get with it. Anyways, yeah, this is really good for that. This is also amazing for contouring your nose because it's got that point on it. But again, it's so soft that it like splays out. I like this. I'm totally going to order a lot more of her brushes. I was thinking about like the face brushes, but I have the whole Sigmax collection and they seem like super similar to that. So I'm probably going to pass on that, but the eye brushes totally going to jump all over that. So the next couple of things, I only got three eyeshadows because like I said, every freaking eyeshadow of life that I wanted was sold out. Of course. Uh, the first one that I got was the iconic Coco Bear. This has been raged about on YouTube and there is a reason why. It is like a super warm brown. It's so freaking pretty and like blends like a dream. I hope that she comes out in the future with like a contour kit because if they... If that was the same formulation as her eyeshadows are, like, oh, my God, I'm going to be all over that. I might even get some cooler tone eyeshadows and use those as contours. The next color I got was Chrome Brulee. This one is like a, it's almost like an Urban Decay Naked, um, but a lot warmer. So it's kind of like that mid-tone brown again super freaking blendable perfect crease color like gorgeous the next one that i got and i was like oh my god cannot believe that this has not sold out was peach smoothie thank you to sam from battle lash now i cannot keep this out my crease but i am laying off my nectar from my um Lorac pro 2 palette so i already hit pan on that so i'll be hitting pan on this pretty soon i'm sure because this is like perfection crease color you can literally put this with every can you see i don't know if you guys can see that right up here you can literally put this with like any eyeshadow combination i have it on today i wore it with purples i've worn it with browns i've worn it with greens like i freaking love this color like yes please thank you uh-huh the next thing i got was um, just a Z palette to put everything in. I just got the black one. I ain't got to be fancy and I'm cheap. I don't need like some freaking zebra leopard stuff because I'm simple like that. Okay. Okay. The next thing. Oh, wait. No, I think that's it. Is that all I, yeah, that's all I got because all the freaking brushes were sold out too. I really want, um, I almost got, uh, what the hell was it called? I really want, I think it's called Spellbound. Um, I almost got, what was it? I don't know. It was like a, um, like a really warm toned one. It kind of looks like a Max Warm Soul, but I heard it's a lot lighter than that. Like a lot lighter pigmented, I guess. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I wanted that and I did not get it. This haul is so super scattered, BT dubs. Like, I got shit from everywhere. I don't have the bags because I've had the stuff for a while, but I just want to show you guys. Okay, okay. The next thing I got from Rite Aid is this. Wet and Wild came out with their new limited edition palettes. I've already opened these, I haven't used any of them. 
Um, but I opened them just so I didn't have to like screw around with them. Okay. So these are the new limited edition palettes. There are one, two, three, four, five, six of them. And if y'all know me, you know, I love me some wet and wild. It is one of my favorite drugstore brands. Their lipsticks are my all time favorites and their eyeshadows are no exception. I freaking love these. So the first one I got is called standing my campground. <laughs> Uh, this has like a mid-tone brown, a warm brown, and a pink. And these, if you've never, uh, dude, really, like, are you freaking kidding me? This was $1.99. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Like, look at that pigmentation. They are so freaking good. I cannot wait to use these. Uh, I love them. I love Wet n Wild eyeshadows. The next one is, hopefully my fingers don't stain. The next one is No Scalpers Allowed. I don't know where they get these names. Like, how is this even relevant? Oh, shit, I didn't open this one. Let's come back to that one because I did not open it. Um, the next one is Sunset to C. S-E-E. -E. Get it? Get it? Yeah. So this one is Sunset to Sea, and it's got my favorite color of life, orange. It's got a brown and then like a cream color. Freaking love these. Uh, the next one is called Who's Carpooling? This one is a beautiful green, a super, super pigmented white. And like this gorgeous, like, I don't even know, blue. Like, are you dying? I also got, um, I got something else that I'll tell you that's coming up here in a couple minutes um, that I want to use with this. But look, I mean, look at that, y'all. <gasps> so freaking pretty. And they're all matte. Yes, yes. Y'all know I love my matte shadows. The next one is Lost My Wristband. Again, I don't know what the daily is with these names. I'm sorry, you guys, my nose itches so freaking bad. That probably sounded disgusting. My allergies are like rocking because I got the window open. Anyways, um, Lost My Wristband. This is like a baby pink, a yellow, and a green. I don't know if I would necessarily wear these colors together, but as you can see, they are Gorgina. Very pigmented, all matte. I think, are all of these matte? No, that one's not. They look like they're all, wait. No, the one standing my campground, that one's not matte. The pink in it isn't, but the rest of them are. Y'all know I love me some mattes. This one is something to rave about. And this is like, let me use the other hand because this one's all crusty. A shimmery kind of like pale yellow a pale blue and then like a pink color again I don't know where they get their color schemes but the eyeshadows are freaking pigmented and Gorgina love them so that is oh and then I also got I forgot about that the new um, bronzer and blush duos so this one is called Hold Me Close. I only got one of these um, just because I didn't like the other ones. They looked crazy dark. And with winter coming up, like I probably wouldn't be able to wear them anyways. So this is what the bronzer looks like. Super light. But during winter time, I'm a pasty pirate. So I will probably be able to wear it. Um... And if you guys know anything about um, Wet n Wild, you know their blushes are like insanely pigmented. So this is like the little palm trees. This is what the blush looks like. This is what the bronzer looks like. And then when you swirl them together, it looks like that. See, see? It's like a warm, bronzy blush. Super cute. This, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not super, super fond of. I feel like their other bronzers that come like this I can't remember what they're called just they're like color icon bronzers or whatever I feel like those are a lot more pigmented than what this is but I like I said I didn't get the other ones those ones might be good I don't know so that was it for wet and wild the next couple of things that I got were from Inglot 
Um, the reason why I went on the Inglot website was because Makeup Geek was freaking sold out of everything. So I was like, ooh, let me go on Inglot and see if I can like contrast and compare and find some shadows that are like similar to the ones that I want to buy on Makeup Geek. No, girl. No, didn't happen like that. So the ones that I got, the Inglot shadows and like the Makeup Geek shadows I already deposited, obviously. And I did the Inglot ones too. But I left this one in its packaging. Inglot can be really confusing as far as like when you go to order and stuff. Like it's just, I don't know. It's it's hard to figure out because they have like the whole freedom system thing. And if you don't want a palette, then you just go. There is like something flying through the air. <laughs> then you just go and like pick the eyeshadows. And I don't know. You just have to go on it. It's super confusing. But when they come to you, they come in a little box. Uh, let me grab it. They come in a little box like this. And then they come in these little like sleeves, which is super cool. And then you like peel the wrapper back and boom shakalaka. There's your eyeshadow. So let me go through the colors really fast because this video is gonna be super long. All my videos are super long. If you are a new subscriber, you better get used to that bish because I don't think I have a video under 15 minutes. Just saying. Yes, saying. Just throwing that out there. So, these are the shadows that I got from Inglot. The first one, I should have like separated them because they really stick to the Z pan or Z palette. The first one is number 383. It is like a peachy kind of pinky orange color. I have like a thousand orange eyeshadows, but I don't have one that is like this. I know it sounds ridiculous, but I really don't. I don't. Uh, the next one that I got is 382. This one is like... I don't even know how to explain it. It's like a light red color. And the only problem I had was this one and the next one I'm about to show you, I thought were like cranberry colors. So I was trying to get something that was similar to Makeup Geek's Bitten, which is sold out and it's like a deep cranberry color. Um, and when I got it, it looked like this. But when I seen it on the website, it looked like a really deep cranberry. So I was like, oh, hey, give me that. Um, yeah, so that one was just a little bit disappointing, but I mean, I'm still going to use it off the, but it just kind of sucked because I was like, that's not what I expected. That's why I don't like to order things online that I can't see and touch and feel. Um, the next one I got was number 50. Again, I thought this was a cranberry. This is a red and it has gold flecks running through it and the way it looked on the site was like a deep cranberry with gold running through it and I thought that this would make a really pretty like smoky eye but I was mistaken but I will still use it. I totally thought um, these two colors were like the same but they're not. This one's a lot lighter and it's matte. This one's got gold shimmer in it yada yada yada. The next one I got, um, and it's really confusing on the site because I don't know what the abbreviations mean. So like this one says, no, oh, they don't say it on here, but I thought they said it on here. Maybe they don't. Oh yeah, it does. AMC. I don't know what that means. And then some of them say like DC or something like that. I have no clue what that means. It's just split into two categories. Um, Inglot shadows and Inglot matte shadows. So you're kind of like, you know, what is floating through the air? You're kind of like, you know, take what, what do I want to say? What do I want to say? You're kind of like taking your chances. I don't know. Anyways, y'all know what I'm saying. This one is number 467 and it looks like this. I really like this color for highlighting my brow bone. It does have like some iridescent shimmer in it. It's super pretty, super pigmented. All these colors are really, really pretty and pigmented. But again, this color here, this is number 323. And the reason I got this was because I couldn't get Chickadee on Makeup Geek and 
online this looks super similar to that but in person it is bright ass yellow i will find a use for it though like i can find a use for basically any color eyeshadow but it's not the colors that i wanted that's what i'm trying to say um anyways the last one i got was 361 the reason why i got this one is because um oh i wanted makeup geeks cupcake which was also sold out and this looks super similar but i really love this color like i have it um as my transition along with peach smoothie but this oh I love these. I love them. I'm not going to sit and talk shit about them. I really do like them. And I'm probably going to order a ton more in the future. Um, yeah. So I love the freaking Z palette. Love it. Only got two more things. The next thing I got was the infamous Inglot number 77 gel liner. And I seriously need to tell you guys, like this shit changed my eyeliner game. I am not even kidding. This is so smooth, so black. I have it on today. So creamy. Like it is, I probably will never go back to using another gel liner besides this one ever again because I love it that much. It is like using a liquid with the results of a gel. It's so good. Oh my God. I freaking love it. It's super, super black. It's just like, I can't even explain to you like how perfect it is. It just goes on so well. If you are somebody that struggles with gel liner or you're having troubles with gel liner, buy this freaking liner. I think it's like 10 or $12. It will change your eyeliner game. I'm not even kidding because it changed mine, y'all. Next thing, and for the very last thing, I got the Duraline, the Inglot Duraline. I've heard a lot of good things about this. You can use this, um, drop it on an eyeshadow and turn any eyeshadow into a liquid or gel liner. Um, that's what I was talking about with all these. Like some of the colors in these Wet n Wild eyeshadows, I cannot wait to drop this shit on there and make a liner with because it's going to be bombs. I can't wait. So, yeah, that was it for my online kind of everywhere stuff, shit, whatevs, haul. Uh, I hope you guys like it. If you like hauls, give me a thumbs up. Uh, yeah, but that's about it. So follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It'd be super dope if you did. And yeah, that is it, y'all. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next vid. Bye-bye.